Okay, so this is the freeze drying experiment. And this is the freezer, and this is where the freeze dryer is, and it removes water from our stereo orange juice samples. And uh, so it all gets frozen here, and as you can see, it, the water is subliming out of these and being extracted, and we just take samples to determine how fast that happens. We take a data point, what we do is we're going to pull off, um, we're going to close it to the vacuum, we're going to pull off the sample, and then we're going to um, weigh it so that we can measure how much water has been uh, dried, taken out. 77.6. Good, and then we'll just take it and we're going to stick it right back on as, you know, typically as quickly as possible. And these are a little hard to get on, but you just kind of do it hard and then uh, um, turn this up, dial up, and so that it can recalibrate and and gain that vacuum back and that should start counting down like it is now and it'll get below usually 400 and that's what it's supposed to be at so so at the beginning of every experiment we have to freeze the samples and so we'll turn on both the pump and and the cooling to cool down the ethanol mixture that's inside the uh, the bath here and then what we'll do is is we'll prepare the samples and then we'll turn on this um, the belts and then we'll stick each sample within the um, ethanol so that it, it spins and we get a nice, um, I guess, freezing around the entire, um, I guess, glass, chem glass here. Bio. Um, we let that go. It usually takes about five to ten minutes to freeze completely and then that's when we'll start moving it over to the vacuum. One problem that we did have was we put glucose in each of our vials and then added water, but all the glucose is hardened so then we had to chip them out which broke our stir bar, which was very sad for the day. So instead, next time, we will mix a solution in our volumetric glass and then pour it in so we don't have to chip again and break things. That was the main problem that we've had so far. Yeah. Okay, so some things you want to uh, make sure you're doing is you want to keep, um, you want to measure each of your samples with the same stoppers. So what we've got going here is we have, um, I just lined each stopper up with with each of its, its vial that we measure with. Now one thing that you have to make sure as well when you're taking these off is you never want to turn this vial up with this this whole part right here up on the top. Otherwise that'll mess with the vacuum and I think it opens it up to the, to the atmosphere. So whenever you pull one off, you want to turn that down and that'll close it off to the sample. And then when you pull it off, you want to put your two fingers up here at the top and just sort of pull it up like this as opposed to grabbing it down at the bottom which you could potentially break the vial that way. Um, and we'll just measure this one again. And when you put it back on, you just want to just stick it on as hard as you can and then turn the vial back up.